Hi, it's Richard from FunFit Adventure. We're here today with the Hero Ranger Columbus. Bit of a special edition, this one. This is the Heckler Grey, and uh, there's only been a few of these made by Hero Camper, and we happen to have one just arrived in the UK, so we thought we'd give you a, a look around it. There's a few new little features on the Hero Campers from, from this year onwards, and a few different accessories that you can get. So we thought we'd do a quick walk around and hopefully the uh, the wind won't disrupt our microphone this time like the last video and we'll see how we get on so here we go this is the hero ranger columbus and as you can see on this side we have the the three meter tule awning and um, that awning comes with all the walls for it as well so you've got the two side walls and the front wall and it literally just winds out with a wind out handle on that side so it's the it's the larger awning on the on the Columbus model, and that that comes you know a, as part of the Columbus model. The models below you get the shorter uh, the shorter two and a half meter awning. So this is the three, and then you can see we've got the the spare wheel mounted to the side. So again, standard on the Columbus model, and uh, we've got the the black black alloys with the big uh, off road tires. Now on the Columbus model, we also have the checker plated fenders and the other models have the the plain fenders but this has the the checker plated on the on the columbus and there's also an option now where you can have a, a fender box that just fits on on this part of the the fender and it's sort of molded in the shape and it comes down and it gives you extra storage space uh, at that at that place there and they haven't been fitted to this one yet but they will be uh, will be soon then on this side we've got the the water inlet so that's where you fill your fill your water tank from. We'll show you that when we get into the kitchen, and then the stabilizer legs. And the stabilizer legs are just literally a simple wind them out. They go down and tighten them in. So there's a stabilizer leg on either side of the Hero Ranger, and then also the stabilizer leg at the at the front as well. So let's have a look around the the front before we go on the on the inside. Uh, there's light as well on the side there. Uh, to light up the light up the camper so on the front here we've got the checker plated storage box if we open that up this one's a little bit different because we also you can see we actually have a, a gas bottle connector that comes into this storage box and that's for the new gas stove top which we'll show you in the in the kitchen but it's quite a big quite a big storage box on the front and there's also a strap in there that you can fasten your, your gas bottle into the into the storage box now on the front we've got the stabilizer leg there again and um there's there's two different chassis this is an alco chassis sometimes they come with a knot sometimes with an alco um the same same rating on both the chassis it uh, just depends the availability of the chassis at the minute so uh, this happens to be the the, the alco and uh, standard on the front standard 13 pin 13 pin connector which will also charge your battery as you're driving along as well and on the front of the Columbus, the Columbus model comes with the, the solar panel. So you can see that's a flexible molded solar panel on the front and that will charge when the sun's out, it'll charge the, the battery inside as well. Now, what we also have is a, uh, now is a, a standard feature is this, which is actually a, a portable, portable solar panel input. So as well as having the, the fixed flexible solar panel, you can also add in the port portable panel on the side here as well. And that goes into the same solar controller that's on the inside. And uh, the advantage with that is, depending on where you're, or you're camped up, and you might not be in full direct sunshine all day, you can actually have a panel that has a cable, extension cable on it, and you can move that panel around to where the sun's shining. Or if the sun's shining on the flexible panel and also on your, your fold out panel, um, you actually, you know, you're pretty much doubling, depending on the, the size panel you've got. Um, you're just adding to that that solar input and, uh, and charging the battery. So that's a nice, nice feature now on the uh, on the side there. Put that back on. And then we've also got under here is the mains electric hookup as well. Now on this side checker plated fenders again and then we've also got the ladder to the to the roof rack system so the roof rack system is standard on all the hero ranger models 
and um, literally step up and then climb up onto the roof. Large, large loading space on the roof there. And there's also the option for a rooftop tent as well. So a couple of extra bars get added to the main camper bars and then the rooftop tent fits on the top or you can use it for storage, roof boxes, uh, storage boxes, wherever you, whatever you want to put up there, uh, you can. And uh, there's new, a new accessory for this year, which is a, a water uh, water outlet with a, with a sort of shower hose on the end, and that fits and integrated onto the, the roof rack system. Uh, so that's something that can be added on at the factory um, when you order. So in terms of the lights on the outside, we've got we've got the running lights, uh, driving lights on the fenders. So these light up when your when your lights are on, and we've also got the lights at the top here as well. And it's the same on same on both sides. So as you're driving along, it gives you a nice uh, nice gauge of where the fenders are with the, with the lights, um, and so you can see the width of the of the caravan. So let's have a little look inside. I'll open this door and then go around the other side go so first of all you can see that the doors here uh, the doors clip back and um, so they don't flap out in the wind and we've also got the two we've got the windows on on each door and uh, we just undo the windows like that and we can fold them out and, and adjust adjust how much we want the windows to open close those down and we've also got an integrated mosquito net and then if we pull this up the other way we've got the, the blackout blind as well so you can have that with a little bit of ventilation coming through or you can have it fully blackout blind like that so that's the same on both windows and it's actually the same on the roof window as well and um, so the roof window opens up and uh, and then you've got the blinds that slide back and forwards and um, and then you can let the ventilation in in that way so each of the doors have a little magazine rack on the on the side there, a little net for popping bits and pieces. And the, the handles inside, it's just a matter, you can lock them when you're inside. It's just turning the knob like that and getting out like that. So very, very easy. So let me turn the power on. Uh, we'll put the main lights on. So you can see we've got the main lights and uh, the, we've got LED strips along the top. Uh, un underneath the the shelf and also behind the the seats on the other side now they're all dimmable so there's three different stage dimmers on those and we've also got which is a, a another reasonably new feature is the led light strips that are behind here and also on the other side and uh, you can see they're blue at the minute you can change them to a few different colors and dim them down or brighten them up and there's a little remote control that, that comes with the, uh, the caravan to do that as well so this is where your sort of master 12 volt controls are so you've got a master switch for the for the 12 volts turns the battery battery system on and um, you have also got a button here to pop your, your fridge on a little night mode and then your your buttons here for the outside lights as well as the kitchen lights uh, your dimmer and the inside lights all in this place here and you can see how your battery's doing as well on this side so if we have a look on this side we can see we've got two large cupboards that open up uh, all, all the cupboards are, are metal really easy to clean nice and hard wearing and also lock down for when you're traveling and then you've got this shelf here and uh, you can store bits and pieces in that shelf and there's also an option to have a, a slide out bed that would come out you can use it as a as a bed a child's bed but also as a shelf as well so that's another and that that comes out on runners under here which is which is an option that's the little bluetooth speaker so all of the the campers come with a little bluetooth bluetooth speaker standard now at the at the bottom there you'll see there's two rectangular um plates and covered in fabric and that's where the the heating system enters into the cabin so that blows the air inside and the options you have are this, this one's got the the electric heating which works when you're on the electric hookup so 240 volt and uh, there's also an option to have a diesel heater as well there's a little storage strap here so you can see the the, the beds uh, the mattresses um it's a large large size inside quite long and um the mattresses are very 
comfortable and underneath there's a there's a membrane to let air flow underneath the, the mattresses so you've also got this it looks like a seat belt but a luggage strap so you can imagine if you've got all this this bed made up you can put a little protective cover down and then you can store your camp chairs tables things like that that you're going to get out when you arrive on on site and that just straps over the top and you can keep them uh, nice and secure while you're traveling along so in terms of the seats the seats come forward so these are sort of the backrests and they're on magnets and will come forward i'll pull the other one forward there as well and then behind here you've got storage space and you've also got the wind out handle clipped on which is for the awning on the outside and then on the far side there you've got the the battery setup now this camper the the big blue box there that's got the 12 volt 40 amps is actually your mains charger the the camper comes stand with a 10 amp this has an upgraded 40 amp charger on it it's got the standard 30 amp lithium battery there um, all the battery management system the fuse boxes and also the uh, the controller for the DC to DC charger for the solar and also input from the vehicle charging the battery as well and there's a few different options there you can you can have an inverter package add in in there if you want to be able to run uh, mains power off grid and run off your battery and, uh, and there's also options for upgrading the, the battery as well let's close that up Now on the on the other side, if we, if we swap around, Sarah, I'm going to show you on the other side. So we'll just have a look at what the controls are on this side of the camper. So we've got the electric heating system control, and um, so that that won't work at the minute because we haven't got the mains hookup in. But that's once you've got the mains hookup that's uh, that's how you control the heat and control the temperature and the fan speed just there now we've also got a couple of usbs that run off the run off the battery a mains power socket and also a, a tri gas alarm as well i mean a, a, as this one's got a, a gas installation it comes with the the gas um the gas alarm as well so we're going to have a look at the kitchen now i think So kitchen area at the back here, we just lift up. Click that up into place there. And, uh, and then what we have at the back here is a little cover that runs along the back. Just pop that up. Uh, what that means is that any, any water coming off off the um, off the door will run down and come down the side the side channels so also in terms of awnings you've also got the kitchen awning really nice Isabella kitchen awning with the Hugo campus come standard with the with the Columbus and there's a bit of sail track just above the door here and the awning comes all the way over the top here so the door creates part of the frame of the awning and then you have a a hoop for the awning that comes down and uh, and the legs just click onto the stabilizers so you have a hoop that comes down that way and then clips in like that you have windows as well so it's a it's a nice sort of canvas canvas awning with the windows in and uh, all the way all the way down to the ground so it gives you a nice space when the weather's bad keeps all the wind off and uh, in the rain so nice space space enough for a, a table a couple of chairs and um and then you can do your you be doing your cooking as well so let me turn the kitchen light on so you've got your led strip light along the top here a couple of rails which people use in many different ways for hanging baskets utensils all sorts of things you can hang from from these rails are quite quite versatile then we've got the brand new cooktop so this is the the hero camper gas stove all built in and um, we just that's got electronic ignition and runs from the gas bottle that you plug into the the gas box at the front so that's a really nice feature that you can add on now this this year then on the side here we've got a couple of main sockets and we've got a 12 volt socket here as well and also the controls for all the lights we can control the inside lights outside lights kitchen all, all from the same the same panel there as well now in the drawers We've got three drawers underneath the, the gas stove. 
and lined with a, with a foam liner. Just like that. There's also a, um, a protector here for the, um, for the gas stove, which just hooks on and comes out onto the back here, uh, around the back of the stove. Then in the middle drawer, we have the, the, new, the new Hero Camper fridge. So this is a bigger fridge than the, the used to be in Hero Campus and opens up from the front here. You can see you've got a little divider in there that comes out. You've also got space that comes back behind here. So you've got the, the 12 volt compressor built in at the back here. So it gives you a bit more, bit more space than the, than the old fridge used to, which is quite nice. Yeah, at the back there you've got your power sockets so you've got extra power at the back extra 12 volts and also extra extra mains power as well now the the the, the heaters are actually installed behind the the drawer at the back here so you can see that there's the electric heater there and if you had the diesel heater installed the diesel heater would go there as well although the diesel tank would be mounted onto the the front storage box and another little checker plated plated box We've got the, the sink over this side and also the, the tap. So it's a little 12 volt pump. And um, underneath here, we've got the, a little space here, a little drawer for some taller items. And, uh, and then your water tank is at the back here. So you fill from the outside and then you've got your little 12 volt pump in there and comes out and then the sink just runs down to a pipe underneath the camper and you just put pop a bucket underneath for your wastewater, gather it that way. So very, very simple, straightforward. So you can see this is the this is the light grey Heckler model, and um, the other colours available. So there's the there's the light grey model, which is more of a white light grey, and then there's there's also the dark grey available. Uh, there's a blue as well as a uh, olive green as well. And um, and then this is the being the being the special edition one. So that is the Hero Camper Ranger Columbus model. And if you'd like any more information, just please get in touch. Drop an email to Richard at funfitadventure.com, or you can look at our website uh, www.funfitadventure.com. Thanks for watching.